Joining us from the islands now is NBA Emeritus, former NBA star, and the guy we like to call friend of the program, Jeff Judkins, head women's basketball coach at BYU. It's time for jamming with Juddy. Jeff, how is the weather in Hawaii? Well, I'll tell you, it's a lot better than uh, South Dakota State. We were <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. It's, the temperatures might be about 80 degrees better. So, but it's it's been uh, it hasn't been great weather. It's been a little rainy, and, but it's in the it's in the mid 70s. You know, so we're we're happy to be here. A lot better than being you know some some place in Buffalo or somewhere freezing cold. So, does this mean in the middle of the night, if you need a Milky Way, you'll go yourself this time? Yeah, this means that I will go, but the problem is we're so far away from any grocery store, it's probably not worth doing it. So we're kind of out in no man's land out in Turtle Bay. So Life sounds hard it, right it, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going, to, we're going to practice right now at 7 o'clock in the morning. That's, that's kind of <laughs> unusual, isn't it? <laughs> we feel so bad for you that you're in Hawaii. Nope, 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 we don't. Uh, you did get your first win against Nevada last Saturday night. Uh, hard-fought win. Lexi Eaton showed up in a major way, 29 points. How relieving was it to get that first win out of the way before you had to make the trip out to Hawaii? Well, I think it's. I think sometimes the first win of the season can be one of the hardest because, you know, you, you, you play well and some team beat you because they outplay you. And so it was nice for us to get the win. I think Lexi played really well and got her confidence back in her shot. She, that's, that's the way she's been playing in practice is being able to shoot like that and to go what three for 19 the first two games is not like her so it was nice to see her get out of it and it was good to see that we had a little bit better balanced scoring than we've had in the other two games so that's a good positive thing for this team a little more pep in the step after a win versus the first two games there morale high on the team right now yeah it's you don't know you know winning solves a lot of problems and makes things a lot better yeah, it was nice for us to to get that and come over here. And you know, we got a big week with some three games and this week, and we were playing two really good teams that that we need to take care of. You know, Oregon State will probably be the best team that we've played so far this year. So um, we're kind of excited about it. We're hoping this can can uh, get this team a lot better and, and improve in some areas that we need to. I know it's tough to answer this through just three games into the regular season, but what's been the biggest challenge with this team thus far, Coach? I'd say consistency with with, with players. You know, I, I think uh, you know, I think Morgan's been probably the most consistent player we've had so far with her defense and her inside presence, and um, a lot of players on the team have have uh, have shown that they can they can do a lot of good things, but we've got to do it consistently every single possession in every game. Um, you know, I, I I thought our defense has, has been kind of a surprise. I think our defense has been a lot better than I thought it would be, with especially guarding the perimeter. Uh, McKenzie and Cassie did a really good job on their leading score last against Nevada. And, you know, I thought they locked into her and really forced a lot of things. And, um, you know, so I, I think this team has got – got some really, you know, some good upside to it. We can continue to improve every day. You're playing in the Tom Weston Invitational against Butler, BYU, Hawaii, and Oregon State. Uh, that starts tomorrow. I really want to know who Tom Weston is. That's my real question. Tom Weston is a, a, a BYU supporter. He's they, They've supported football, basketball, all, all sports. And one of our close friends, Jim Evans, works for work for his company Jim is probably our biggest supporter uh, you know and so when we did this tournament he passed away about a year and a half ago and so we felt like that this tournament we want to do for the next three or four years we'd like to have it named after him and remember his great great love and support that he's given our our, our teams at BYU so is this a tournament that you've kind of uh, met up with BYU Hawaii to do the next couple of years yeah, we, you know, part of it is we wanted to go to Hawaii, and so um, that's a great selling tool recruiting wise. But right now we have three girls from Honolulu that we've recruited, and so we want to get them home because it's a long ways, and a lot of their families can't 
you know, can't come to every game and it's very costly. So we wanted to come and, and make a tournament. And, and so when you come out here, it's nice to spend at least a week and play some games. And so that's kind of how we, we started. We, we got away from it one year because it, the cost, and that's where Tom's come in and helped us with his foundation. They came in and, and sponsored this tournament and uh, to help us bring some good teams in to the tournament and also for us to be able to do this for the next, next few years. Nice. Jeff Judkins in his 14th season as the head coach of BYU women's basketball, 255 wins to his credit, took his team to the Sweet 16 last year. We have him on the show every week. We call it Jamming with Juddy. That's unofficial. That, oh, I was going to say, it's is that the official name? But, but are you okay with Jamming with Juddy, Coach? Jeff Judkins. We may have lost. We Judd. may have lost. Or, or he just hates it so much he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here, here's the thing that I want to talk about. When you make that trip out to the islands, like it, it has to be at least a little bit hard not to be distracted by everything that's going on around you. Okay, well, you, you have to take a day where it's like let's just play. Exactly. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go shoot around, whatever. Let's just play. The point the point of going there is mostly basketball, right? Yeah, it's a recruiting tool. You get to see families. You get to play. You mentioned the three players competition. from Honolulu. Yeah, there. Yeah. families can uh, get yeah. to. Yeah, Robbins Hardy is one of those I know. Yeah, um, Kylie Maeda. Maeda, that's right. Okay. So Butler, BYU, Hawaii, Oregon State. You know, there are a couple good games in there. You get to play BYU, Hawaii. That's fun. Uh, if BYU, Idaho had a team, maybe they'd be there as well. They play Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. They're taking Friday off, but they're playing on Thanksgiving. So they, yeah, they, they spend Thanksgiving on the islands, which I believe is in contrast to the men's team, which will come back. After I, don't, the, I don't know their schedule. Okay, they, they play tomorrow. You, but do the, Depending do they on how come late home, they play. Yeah, because – I, they said last night on the ESPN broadcast, some teams will stay an extra day and spend mm-hmm. Thanksgiving in Hawaii. So I, I wonder what the, what the game I wonder plan is t- there. I wonder, too, because BYU does play Saturday against Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. You, you don't have much time. you got to travel back and, and have a home game. Uh, we are pleased to announce that Coach Judkins is back on with us. Coach, I don't know if you heard my last question, but uh, we, we have unofficially dubbed this segment with you every week, Jamming with Juddy. Do you approve? Oh, I approve. That's great. Yeah, we – We'd like to try to get our our information out to all, all our fans and hopefully get as many people involved in our team as we can. So this is great. The only and I, and I, I do like it, Jim, and that's good. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah. I like to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we are going to have to like have drums and a guitar and a saxophone one week to really make it jamming, but whatever. Uh, question, okay. what, why are you guys off Friday, but you play Thanksgiving? Well, what happened was um, – the, the two teams that we were playing, they wanted to they did not play Friday. And, um, you know, Oregon State and Butler, they, they both wanted to play on Thanksgiving, and they have Friday off to, to prepare for the next game. So that's why we did it. Um, you know, to, you know sometimes it might it, – for us, it might be better because it gives us a day to prepare and also – um, you know, well, we're going to play at one o'clock on Thanksgiving, and we would have practiced anyway, probably. So, um, it'll just give us a little bit more time to prepare for the game. How do you balance a holiday with basketball and and keep your team focused and being on the islands with so many distractions and there's so much fun stuff going on around? How do you how do you keep your team focused on uh, winning basketball games? Well, Spencer, it's, it's like anything; it's habits. And uh, things that I've done over the years that I coached is I let parents and I let people come and get involved with our team and we travel. And so it's not like it's a wholly different thing. Like like when our administration comes, they support us at home. They support us all the time. And so it's not a big distraction when they come to our games. Um, And what I try to teach my, my team is that, you know, you can enjoy life and enjoy what you're doing. And then when times come, you need to focus and buckle down and, and do what you need to do. So this gives us a great opportunity to do that. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been blessed. I've been lucky that our team has come out and played well all the time. I've never really had to worry about it. But they're smart about their time, too. And that's the other thing is, you know, they're, they're smart about what, what they do and how, how they focus. And, and uh, it's good to have veterans that have been through it. You know, Morgan and Ash and Joe John, they're great leaders. That way, they've, they've been at big games, and so that's kind of what's happened. So, um, 
hopefully this will you know continue to work. If it doesn't, then I'll get like with Jarrett and be probably worried about it and hold everything up. But right now, that's not the way I am. Coach Jeff Judkins on BYU Sports Nation. Jamming with Juddy never disappoints. Good luck in the tournament in Hawaii, Coach. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. We'll be watching. Thank you, Spencer. I wish you guys were here. You'd be able to go to the beach today, maybe. <laughs> I'm on my oh. way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for everything. Appreciate uh, it. All right, Jeff Judkins on BYU Bye-bye. Sports Nation.